John, what a win. Could you say the fans got us over the line in that one? I think so, yeah. Towards the end, uh, sort of John turned around and uh, just speaking about the atmosphere and it was incredible towards the back end of the game. Um, I think you know a couple of things got us through. Obviously, I think the fans towards the back end, but uh, although we probably weren't our best today, just making sure that we do grind out wins in very different ways. I thought we some elements of our play today was really good. There was some stuff we were frustrated with, but uh, just at this stage of the season, it is all about the result. Would you say it's a, a real squad effort today? Yeah, I mean, Christian comes on and makes the difference and he obviously named man of the match, probably rightly so, because you know, he was the difference maker today. And, and one of the messages I do try and instill in the lads is that for a player like Christian, who came off at half-time against Leighton Orient just after the new year, found himself out of squads, not really getting a look in. He didn't come on against Charlton last week, but we felt that tonight was going to be a good game for him or sorry this afternoon would be the right game for him and he came on and made a massive difference and, and we've we've got that in abundance I think with the players sitting behind me we've got that with the players that aren't even in the squad so it is it, it's all about that it's a bit cliched but ultimately you know you never win football with just the 11 players you need uh, much much more than that. What do you put the quick start down to? Well I think the lads have trained really well all week we spoke about after the Charlton game last week following up a decent point away from home with a a good three points at home and you know I thought that we started with the right tempo I think the goal came from Joe Rafty taking a quick throw and we managed to obviously get in and around the abs picking up the second balls Langy finishing it and I thought after that even after we got a goal up we looked like we were well in control obviously the the equaliser is a bit of a sucker punch and then the game became a bit more frantic and a bit more open and to be honest it's, it's difficult to digest or it's difficult to really summarise the game too much right now but you know, like I said they're the results the most important thing. How do you think the lads reacted to being, being pegged back much sooner than they probably expected? I thought they were OK in terms of the reaction. I thought there were a couple of things that frustrated me. I, I genuinely thought that the, the Oxford side I've seen there were you know, really good. Um, it's not very eloquent, but I thought Oxford played well today. Some really, really good performances. They caused us problems. They kept the ball really well. I thought they pressed well and it was a good game of football. I think one thing we could say about today was a really, really good game of football. So. We reacted, I thought, all right to the equaliser. And the most pleasing point for me was when I think we went a goal up. And after that point, I thought we controlled the game really well. So it was a bit frantic at the, the start of the second half. But after that, I thought we were well in control and we deserved to win the game at that point. What was the thinking behind the one change to the starting 11 you made? I think it was the fact that Mox was coming, he's done really well. And probably a bit ahead of schedule in terms of where we'd actually need him to be because of Tom Lowry's injury. And I think that's just. It was a nice option for us to, we were speaking about Mars playing as a six, it was a nice option for us to um, try and have control of the game there and uh, two different players that give us definitely different attributes when they're, when they're playing and um, you know you probably saw some of the, some of the best of, of Mars today, probably a, a little bit of, of the parts of the game that he needs to improve upon as well but um, it, was, it was nice to have that option anyway. Christian said he's been waiting so long for his first league goal, how, just how pleased are you for him and how pleased are the staff and the other players for him as well? Absolutely delighted for him. You could probably tell in the celebration. Obviously, the goal in and of itself was a big goal for us, but the fact Christian scored it makes it extra special because if you take away even what's you know, happened to him in, in January with the fact that, and go back to it, he, he did get subbed off at half time and he's found himself out on the periphery for large parts of the last couple of months. Um, but he's kept his head down and, and everybody loves him. He's a really popular character. I think the fans absolutely love him. And the one thing I think that's been missing from his game over the past eight or nine months that he's been a Portsmouth player who's been putting the ball in the back of the net and he had a lot of time to think about it and it was a really, really good finish. I know we mentioned them at the start but the support today, what do you make of it? I think it was right up there in terms of memorable afternoons and certainly the noise towards the, the back end of the game was, was just incredible and I think um, everybody here is, is excited about where we're, we're trying to get to and I think we've got five more games at home and yeah, five more of those would be brilliant.